This is something you won't find anywhere else. More than 200 springs right in a city centre. Up to 9,000 litres of fresh water per second flow to the surface, from the springs of the Pada. They form the River Pada, giving the city of Paderborn its name. Already in the first century AD, people made settlements at the springs of the Pada. Not along the water like everywhere else, but literally above the water, in between the springs. Throughout the centuries the water was used in many ways. People of many different crafts who needed pure and clean water settled around the never drying up springs. This is also reflected in the old names of the Pada's branches. There was the washing Pada, which even in winter has a water temperature of 16 degrees Celsius. For the butchers, we had the Knokenhogger Pada or the Fell Pada, where the tanners carried out their work. Ad Padris Brunnen, which means at the springs of the Pada, Charles the Great built an imperial palace in the 8th century. Today, deep below the imperial palace, you can still see a cellar that encloses a spring, one of the many places the Pada originates from. After as few as 200 meters, the Pada gains a lot of power already, enabling it to turn mill wheels. Several mills were located here in the past. Up to this day, one mill is run directly in the city centre. Here, the crop of the surrounding villages is ground with the water power of the Pada. Within the city walls, protected by the cathedral, five mills were in operation. We have been millers since 1958 and we are happy that we can use the energy from the Pada, so our flour is ground with the help of Pada power. The Pada turns the city centre into a recreational area. Close to the historic buildings, the cathedral and imperial palace, you can experience a modern park in the heart of the city. It's a unique park landscape, created in the 50s. Inspired by water and all its forms. It flows or stands still. It falls or bubbles to the surface the modern face of the ancient springs. For the people of Paderborn, the park is of great importance. For those living or working in the city centre, it's a nearby oasis where you can relax during a lunch break or in the evening. You can meet up for coffee or an ice cream in the many restaurants and bars that have located here. Visitors from near and far tell me that this is something really special, something you really find in other German cities. People always knew how to make use of the Pada. With these wells, the so-called Kumpa, the water was connected through an underground system and pumped into the city for firefighting as far back as the middle of the 16th century. Even today, some of the buildings benefit from the water under the city. In a totally modern way and without anybody noticing, this is how it works. Under the ground, the water is pumped into a large pipe system, leading it to many different houses. Via heat exchangers, the water cools the buildings or warms them up, depending on the season. After use, it flows back into the system. The buildings are climatized by the water, sustainability at its best. By using this new technology, we save 380 tonnes of CO2 per year and 200,000 euros of energy costs compared to traditional energy sources. Young people also appreciate life at the Pada. They enjoy warm summer evenings on the grasslands by the Pada, almost Mediterranean. I especially like that when the weather is good, this is the place to meet up with your friends. Everyone comes together and really gets along here. For students, it's an ideal place in summer to meet up for a drink or barbecue or just to relax. Here you can hardly hear the traffic from the city. It is a nice, quiet place to enjoy the sun. Away from the city centre, the Pada shows its natural beauty, especially for those who explore the Pada by water.
they are rewarded by the view on the lake, called Pardasi. After four vivid kilometres, the Pada writes the last of its many exceptional stories at the castle Neuhaus. Here the Pada, the shortest river of Germany, runs into the much quieter river Lippe. For thousands of years, up until today, the Pada has endowed the people of Paderborn with an urban cultural landscape of exceptional value, characterised by water.